Hi, hi, hello, hi, and hello, and also hi to all of you in YouTube viewing land. It's Anthony Fantano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and where I'm gonna, uh, gonna uh, uh, we're gonna cringe with our good old cringing buddy, Mr. Tom McDonald. Oh my God, there's so many flyaways coming out of his uh, braids on his head. That's ugh. but yes, our friend Mr. Tom McDonald is back. The troll extraordinaire is back with a brand new song and video. People, so stupid. In a few short days, this video has well over a million views. He's got a very, very, very positive ratio on the like to dislike over here. 150K to just a mere 2.8K? Am I even going to cringe to this? I mean, it's Tom McDonald. I know I'm going to cringe a little. He's already giving me some very weird vibes with the suit and uh, obviously the 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 the, the black uh, you know contacts and everything. Oh, I'm so edgy. Oh, I'm so dark. Nobody's like me. I'm different. I'm different. I'm different. So you know that's certainly going to come through, especially on a song titled "People So Stupid." where, you know, Tom's essentially probably going to relay the message that uh, everyone's dumb, people are so dumb, dumb people do this, dumb people do that, and I'm the smart guy. I'm the smart guy who's observing all the dumbness, which I suppose to an extent is true because uh, Tom has certainly assembled a, a gaggle of morons to either uh, support everything he says or react to everything he says negatively, no matter what he does, so I guess we will... Uh, uh, see how exactly the narrative of this track pans out. People so stupid. I don't know. I'm open. I'm going to be open-minded. Open mind, open heart. Because who knows? Maybe this will be one of Tom McDonald's best songs ever. Tom McDonald, People So Stupid. Let's go. Hi! I'm praying that the world changes soon. Can't get a doobie on a plane, but there's Uzis in our schools. <laughs> the world would still be stupid if you were, like, allowed to smoke uh, joints on a plane, dude. Like, I mean, while, yeah, like there shouldn't be uh, Uzis in our schools, which, uh, mind you, they're, they're not brought into the school legally. You could also bring a doobie into a plane illegally if you wanted to. It's kind of confusing. I mean, I, I get the gun control thing, but, um, you know, it, it would still be kind of stupid to allow people to, you know, smoke in a plane where everyone has to like share the same air and share the same space. When you're talking about Uzis in our schools and school shootings, I mean, you're discussing a whole wide cross section of problems coming together, uh, whether it come to social isolation, mental health, uh, the prevalence of firearms and just the ease with which people are able to get them and bring them into places where they shouldn't be. I mean, these are societal problems that uh, uh, go beyond whether or not uh, the rules say it's okay. Let's keep going. Everyone working at Hooters like, oh, hey, uh, girls, girls, get ready. Push the boobies up. Uh, we're about to get the... Uh, uh, the after grade school rush, or is this more like a Tom McDonald specific thing where maybe his dad brought him to Hooters after he'd get out of school or something like I, you know, personally going into my own back history and, and even the back history of some of my friends, like there wasn't a whole lot of like going to Hooters after school. So, uh, I, I don't, I don't so much know about, uh, Hooters kind of being the card that uh, came out of, you know, the house of cards of society and just the whole thing tumbled. We're all triggered and defensive. We're all racist and we're sexist. We all grew up watching South Park. How are we offended? Not everyone grew up watching South Park and South Park, uh, like, doesn't necessarily inoculate you from being offended and the things that people are offended over don't necessarily have to do directly with South Park. I mean, you know, like, I don't know, Nazis saying racist stuff, for example. There's not really anything per se in South Park that when you watch it enough times, at least in my mind, because I watched plenty of South Park, uh, that should communicate to you, yeah, it's like, okay, for Nazis to be Nazis, that's fine. I forget that South Park episode. Man, it used to be cooler to slip a bird to the system, and now it's trendy to be triggered and pretend you're a victim. It's my race, it's my weight, it's because I'm a Christian, I hate the internet, and anyone who has an opinion. I don't really sort of get this mental leap that Tom McDonald is, is making here. How is talking about the discrimination that people suffer at the hands of their identity, or rather the way their identity is treated 
by society and by the system. How is that not being anti-system? That is being against the conformity that the system forces on all of us. That is being against the system. That is not pro-system. Stop whining! Stop whining about how unfair life is! Stop complaining so much! That is pro-system. That is telling people to stop worrying about the status quo and the way things are. Stop trying to change things. That is pro-system. You are pro-system right now with this track. Let's talk about abortion. Sorry, tell me how this works. Bacteria is life on Mars, but a heartbeat isn't life on Earth. Wow, I had no idea idea that uh, Tom McDonald was going to come out as, as pro-life in this <laughs> video, but uh, here we are. I feel like Tom McDonald's is just plagiarizing these takes because I've heard this stupid take. For one, we're talking about life in two completely different contexts. We're talking about whether or not the atmosphere of a planet can sustain life so that maybe one day we could go to it and colonize it or something. And, and then we're also talking about uh, the right that a woman should have to decide whether or not she uh, will have a child. Those are completely different topics, one of which is very much a moral concern, which doesn't necessarily extend to the other. It's not like you have pro-choice people on Earth being like, No, the bacteria on Mars! Save the bacteria! Oh. Gonna run out of tissues, it's so dumb. Oh my God, this is one of his shittiest and most terrible Eminem ripoff hooks ever. Like, what the fuck? I, I, yeah, so stupid. You're so dumb. Call me homophobic because I don't want to date guys. Nobody thinks that. Just don't hate homosexual people or want to limit their rights. And uh, uh, no one should uh, reasonably assert that you're a homophobic person. His victim complex is just fucking insane. I don't know how much of it is real and how much of it he just kind of like plays up for the songs and the music videos because he knows there'll be like a bunch of fucking morons in the comments with like Punisher avatars or like, you know, it'll, it'll be like a 35 to a 45 year old dude with wraparound sunglasses and a red hat taking a selfie of himself in his truck or somebody with like an anime avatar being like, oh man, I'm so glad somebody is speaking the truth right now. Uh, the other day, uh, somebody said I should have sex with a gay person and uh, I said no. And they said, what are you homophobic? Like, literally happened to nobody fucking ever. It doesn't happen. And along the way, give trophies to children for losing just because they decide to play the every kid gets a trophy argument how many times have we heard that here we go how about also this over here ba boom <laughs> politicians hey, this is a democracy it's partly your decision hey. wow if there was ever like a pro system take i would say it's that like why are you so mad at the politicians you voted for him? It's partially your decision. Like, I don't know. I guess it's very, very, very partially since most political campaigns are corporate funded and not really fighting for the constituents that they're supposed to represent. And we effectively live in an oligarchy at this moment in time. But Jesus Christ, it's, it's like an amazing ruse that Tom McDonald has been effectively able to convince his audience like, yeah, people just aren't fucking the system anymore. And then like he'll make line after line after line of just like straight boot licking. Tom McDonald, like fuck, dude. The boot, you're just supposed to lick it. It's not it's not a whole meal, bro. If I identify as a female, then when my balls and penis disappear, children want to gender whoa, 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 okay. Getting transphobic, let's go. Gender, gen 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 expression of uh, one's identity. Uh, it's not the same thing as biological sex. That's where we are scientifically. That's where the literature says we are. Who's the authority on this? Uh, people who have been writing about and studying biological sex and gender theory for decades, or this fucking guy. Look, I get it. It's like the world is going crazy. Seems like a school shooting happens almost daily. The racism, rape culture, hatred that we're facing is way too ingrained for our hashtags to change it. We become so lazy and complacent, afraid of our generation. We think activism's Instagramming memes and complaining. And no, 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 no. Tom, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. You don't get to do this semi-woke face turn in the middle of the track when basically you're reducing anybody speaking up about anything as being like, oh, everybody's just going wah, 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 wah. And you're making this track during a time when people are literally out in the streets, like burning down buildings, breaking cop cars, like fighting the police, getting beaten, getting shot, getting gassed, getting killed just to stop police violence. 
Like people aren't just Instagramming their activism. Of course, that's happening to a degree. There are people who are just doing it for attention, but uh, a great deal of individuals are literally out there pounding the pavement, doing the work, and fighting the good fight and making things actually change. There are literally police forces that are currently being defunded, resources being reallocated because of these protests, because of these fights that are ongoing in the streets. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I don't think we need to listen to the rest of this shit because this chorus is fucking ass. Look, Tom McDonald just super fucking sad. Super sad and I feel bad for anybody who's like eating this shit up because this is fucking bullshit. Like Tom McDonald is really running like a grift here where he's giving you this facade of like, I'm alternative, I'm against the norms, I'm outside of the matrix. Which, look, don't let Tom McDonald's uh, stupid frickin' eyes and his ugly tattoos and his grill or his chains or, you know, his uh, slightly edgy uh, style of dress fool you. He is a normie, he has no imagination, and all that he can do at this point in his career is just continue to troll people and uh, feed into the psyches and, and victim mentalities of sad white guys uh, who are just like getting off on this shit. I'm done. This is doo-doo caca. And uh, I, I expected it to be so. But, you know, congratulations on the, the positive uh, uh, like-dislike ratio over here. And uh, that's, that's me cringing to this uh, shit. Uh, so, yeah, let me know your thoughts over in the comments. You're the best. Love you, love you, love you. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Uh, hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Sir Tom McDonald, uh, forever.